Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Evil Extreme here. Here we are on the 13th of May 2024, and finally we got some new and updated mods. So, first of all we got one update, so this is the Long Bunk, this is by Adob Modern AB Team. 1.18 megabytes to download, slot count is free. And yes, you'll find this under Tools and Forestry. Head towards the end, 20 grand. Weighs 19 and a half tons, and the change log is as from update 1.1. Added the universal auto load, which is a PC mod. Added more ring configurations, which were the kind of sick. Adjusted wear and dirt times. Lowered the wheel configuration price, and added production year to support vehicle years mod, which once again is a PC only mod. So, yeah, a couple of options for tires. Frames, we do have a plethora of colours like Tiffany Blue, Cone Orange and all of that, Biscuit, Jack Moo, so a lot of the colours you associate with like A2 Studio and that. Not too bad, not too bad. So yeah, it's a simple dog trailer that supports, I'd say about 12 metre logs because some of these are 50 metre logs, so yeah. A 12 metre log trailer, not too bad. So yeah, that is the update to the Long Bunk by Adop Modding ABP Team. Next. Now for our only placement for the day, we got the Underforest Cottage 1973. This is by Sitsi EE. 22.81 megabytes to download. 22 slots for a console. Ah uh, yeah, this is a simple, I'll say a bit of like a Polish sort of old brick and mortar house. But yeah, nice little stone path there. Sleep trigger is behind here. And yeah, you'll find us under build modes, under farmhouses, towards the end. 16,400 is place. Daily upkeep of 15. So yeah, it does require a bit of landscaping potentially to smooth it all out, but overall's not too bad. There's no yeah, no other little bits of the amenities. So yeah, that is the Underforest Cottage 1973 by Sitsi EE. Next, we've got the RAL 2.5 Aggregate. This is a 2.5 meter cultivator. This is by Pushcap. 5.84 megabytes to download. Slot count is 6. And yeah, a simple 2.5 meter cultivator. Very cheap indeed. So, under tools and cultivators. Head towards the end. 2,700 for each place. Working speed of 9 miles an hour. 3 horsepower required. Weighs 391 kilograms and goes down to one slot. So configuration's got these little rollers on the back. So you've got spikes, cage, and another kind of cage roller. Stickers, no or yes. So that's all the rails, stickers, and the safety stuff. Color configurations, we are them too. So you've got red, blue, and grey. Design colour, you've got red. Do, so that changes the roller on the back. Black, yellow and grey. And fine for design colour, this is our the main little you know, sickles of that. So red, blue, black, yellow and grey. So yeah, hop into our case here. Hook it up and yeah, at the end of the day, it's a simple cultivator. No animations were that. So just go and a little cultivator. And now she's headed to an actual field, so let's head into our wheat field here a sec. So there we go. Drop it down. And yes, we are cultivating. She has not too bad a bit of kit. Nice roller animation in that. Absolute love it. Raise up. Yeah, you know, like how the roller sort of slowly rolls to a stop. So yeah, overall, at the end of the day, it's another two and a half meter cultivator, but it's a nice bit of kit. Nice configurations, and at the end of the day, if you're on like a Polish map, something like, or even like No Man's Land on here doing a survival challenge. 2700 for a starting cultivator. Ain't too bad. So yeah, that is Rao 2.5 Aggregate by Pushcap. Next, we 
got the Coon VB 2190. This is by Backy. 6.57 megabytes to download. Slot count is 7. Goes down to 1. And at the end of the day, this is a very simple bailer. Costs 56 grand. And you find this on the tools and bailers. So go towards the end. Oh no. So yeah, 56 grand. Can do 187 year bells. 10 miles an hour working speed. Requires only 68 horsepower. Weighs 2.6 tons and goes down to 1 after purchasing. So yeah, configurations. So tires got Trailborg, BKTs, first shines, back to Trailborg. Main colour, you got a very shades of red. So you got Q new, metallic, used, new two, metallic, and used two. So a bright red and a dark red. Basic wheel palette options, or colour palette options. It's just gonna pick a green there. There we go. So let's hook this up to our case. Open help menu. So yeah, you got obviously there pick up. Turn on beater. Automatic drop, yes or no. Let's go with 180 your bells. No other options. Let's see how it does with this. Decent pick up in there. So you got an old shoe swap. Yeah, actually picks up very decently. But how does this unload? Actually, that is a pretty, yeah, pretty decent unload speed. So uh, back underway again. So it's got a decent pick up range. Yeah. So yeah, it's what, at least 2.1, 2.2 meters, something like that, I'll say. See, so yeah, overall, nice little bit of kit, actually, if I say so myself. Detach you. Oh yeah, have a bit of a closer look at. Get rid of the menu, so yeah. Overall, not too bad. And also, I'll just quickly show off the lights on this, so... If I can drive, put this up. See, so yeah, I got lights, left indicator, right indicator. But yeah, pulls well. Does require much horsepower at the end of the day. So yeah, a nice little handy bather. So yeah, that is a Coon VB twenty one ninety by Backy. Next, as it is with regularly over the last few Mondays, we got another Stara equipment. This is the Stara Hercules six point made by Star Brazil and Connect Modding. Forty five point six one megabytes to download. Slot count is thirty one. And yep, at the end of the day, this is a self propelled lime or solid fertilizer spreader. And you find this under vehicles, under crop protection. 36 meters working width, weighs 9.5 tons, holds 6,000 liters, working speed of 18 miles an hour, capacity, oh, sorry, normal speed of 31 miles an hour, 420 liters of fuel, 220 horsepower. But yeah, no configurations apart from your flag, so you got your South African, Argentina, Australia, Bolivia, Chile, United States, Mexico, Russia, uh, Uruguay, is that it, I think? Venezuela, Brazil, how's uh, that, Paraguay? I need to learn these flags, but yeah, so. Light to start up. Lights. Beacons. Left indicator. Right indicator. Go to the front. Yeah, I can't really see any keys on the right. But yeah, open the help menu. So yeah, only thing you've got really is R1, right sit left to right. And that just widens and narrows the wheels. L1, R1, L1, nothing. So yeah, this has got lime in. 
yeah, let's see if it does 32 meters. But yeah, at 18 and 19 miles an hour, this is a very fast sprayer, and that does go through the line a bit quickly, to be honest, but again, that's with me using precision farming. But line this one knows is very infamous for going very quickly. Let's hire a worker and see how it deals with the turning. So there we go, at the end, worker turns it off. And I'll just want to see how it does the steering on this. Ah, once again, having the issue, so let's try somewhere else. So let's see now. So let's go to the end. Yep, turns around. Yeah, again, it may be seen a bit slow to some, but at the end of the day, it's got have a fair width in that. So it's just lining itself up. And how does it perform with maintaining the spread width? So just have a little look. Bang on, perfect. And yeah, one thing I just want to quickly test is how does it handle? Oh yeah, also I forgot to say, it does have steering options. So you've got your all-wheel steering and your front-wheel steering. I'll say front-wheel steering is used for like highways and that, on the roads and that, on the motorways, whatever you would call it. And all-wheel steering for like field work because when this is on the go, that is very loud. Yeah, it does have that bit of a cumbersome tilt to it, but when the wheels are white, it's not that bad, but when the wheels are narrow, it can be a bit funny in that. And yeah, on to the solid throttle spreader. I just want to see, does it retain the same width? You know, some spreaders have 30 meters for fertilizer. I've got to say, it's doing more than that. That's it. It's hard to say, but let's just let's go over here. So, yeah, it does have a bigger spread with the fertilizer compared to the lime, which at the end of the day is to be expected, so not too fussed about that. But yeah, I'll say 36 meters for the fertilizer and again, it doesn't say on the model page, but I've had to guess around 18 or 20 meters, as it is very typically with these kind of spreaders at the end of the day. But yeah, overall, not too bad. Nice bit of kit. I do like this very much. Let's go and let's park this up and have a little quick look. Oh, so this all gets stuck. So yeah, overall, not too bad. Another Star mod, which I am always loving to see. Even though it's a more of a South American brand, but at the end of the day, more mods, more new brands, new equipment to see, I'm always appreciative of that. So yeah, that is the Star Hercules 6.0 by Sao Brazil and Connect Modding. Next, we'll head to our final vehicle for the day. For our final mod of the day, we got the Lizard 350 XCF, or known as the KTM 350 XEXCF. This is again by Agritono. 14.46 megabytes to download. Slot count is 9, goes down to 1. Yeah, this is a KTM Enduro. Very modern app. They got the 2020 model and they also have a 2024 model. Bobby with Farm Sim being on console, it's known as Lizard. But yeah, so you find this under vehicles, under cars. So yeah, there is a ton of configuration options. So it costs 11,400, 
it says top speed of 74 miles an hour, and on the mod hub it says 68.3, not too sure. 88 horsepower for a hill enduro, that is, yeah, a bit, a bit on the steep side, I'll admit. So yeah, wheel set up, you've got off-road and rim 1, off-road and rim 2, smooth, so if you want to go a bit off-road in, you can. Or your, your smooth treaded tires. And yeah, it says ex exhaust, two stroke and four stroke. And all this re changes is the header. So yeah, four stroke got a small exhaust, and a two stroke got a chonga's exhaust. Um, that's not how it works in real life, but <laughs> doesn't say. Yeah, nothing's changing. Also has a 9 litre fuel tank. But yeah, like, even you go with the bigger pipes and that, doesn't change the headers on the exhaust, doesn't, yeah, just changes the down pipes and that, so, yeah, I'm a bit iffy on that. Has a motorcycle enthusiast myself, so, I'll skip past that. Tank colour, we've got beige, black, black and white, orange, which is your KTM orange. And back to beige. The fairing, you got black plastic and side panels. It's got a coloured plastic and side panel. Plastic coloured and side panel in chassis colour. Black side panel, coloured side panel, side panel in chassis colour. And back to that. So, exhaust tip and muffler. So you got a metallic tip and a brass coloured muffler. Metallic tip and metallic muffler. Metallic tip and black muffler. Black tip and brass coloured muffler. Black tip and metallic muffler. Black tip and black muffler and back to that. Front headlights, so you got no headlights. Headlights one, two, three. So yeah, these are like say your typical modern LED bulbs they got your xenon lights and that and no headlights protection and grid one so yeah hand protections are going to be on the handlebar so you got like, your bar guards and that yes and no pretty much then you got your grid no not your grids your radio grills and that so you got Grid 1, Grid 2, and yeah, just a couple of options. So yeah, different kinds of grills, with or without the handlebar guards and that. Panels and handlebar protection, so that's going to be like your Renfo bars and that. So also, yeah, sorry. <laughs> You can add the panel and handlebar protector without the panel, so that's without your like your clocks and dash, whatever you would call it. So yeah, not too bad. Handlebar grips and turning the key. So you got a black handlebar grip, white handlebar grips, black handle grips with turn signals. So you'll see those on the front. Actually, funny enough, I do got those same kind of indicators on my mirror cycle. Sort of like the LED strips and that. White handlebars and so on. Next, you've got your stickers, so this is going to be on the side. Special six days. Your Fox sticker. Brazil and purple. Brazil and white. Purple and black. Black and white without stickers. I think nine. So, yeah, without. And then one through to nine. Next for your color configuration, so your fairing, so the purple, this for example, is going to change your part of your mud guards and yeah, some of your f lower forks and that, and all that, and your main fairing, and parts of your tail and that. Next, got your frame, so again, that is your chassis color, so. If you go on with some of the other configurations earlier on, that will also change. Seat cutter changes the seat, nothing else to be said. The rear fairing 
is that and you do have a whole plethora of options different blues got a blue bengal now some of these are very nice these are carbon we'll go for that carbon fiber look Bergman's, Anna Burgers, Kiwico, Brewery, Hawas. And yeah, if I want to go with like a KTM Orange, I'll say it's more. I think the closest you're going to get to in Farm Sim is the. Was it Scouten? Scouten, not sure I pronounced that. Yeah, that's going to be as close as your KTM Orange. That's a bit too bright orange to like yellowy orange that is just like a bronze color and then again that's just pure yellow so if you want to go with that ktm look go with that oh yeah rim colors also so that changes rims and yeah so let's hop into here and there is some things to know so what you see here is on a paddock stand. Finally, a motorcycle on a paddock stand. And yet, yeah, to have this, you need to turn the engine off. Because if you turn the engine on. Okay. Yeah, so let's say you come to a stop. And you just fold. You exit. It's just going to tip over like that. So. What you need to do is turn it off, then put the pack sand down, and then, yeah, that is the bike on and off the pack sand. Now, to get the pack sand, you press L1 and X, that will fold and unfold. Even though it says car, even though this is clearly a motorcycle, L1, R1. So, R1 and right stick up and down changes the rider position from sitting on the seat to have like a proper enduro style of you have your ass in the air and your L1 I think that just changes the like the positioning of the rider and I think yeah I'm not too sure on that Actually, I really like that. Like actual, I'm tapping the throttle. And you see the riders' throttle animation. So your headlights, left indicator, right indicator. Ah, it's like a ball. It's like an LED strip, unfortunately. And like so. How many brake? Got your brake lights. Where is he? Yeah, it says top speed 68 miles an hour. And that is that is a proper nice little sound that is. And actually, do I have the two different engine options? Because I want to test the engine sounds difference between two stroke and four stroke. Because if any of you are a motorcycle enthusiast or ridden on a two stroke or four stroke motorcycle, you know there is a significant sound difference. So, that's got the massive downpipes, and so does that. So, bear with me a sec. So, right, got the four stroke here. I don't know the difference, no, I don't think. We test the top speed, so so that sounds like that. And uh, just tab over. No, no, no. <laughs> Clearly, there's no difference between the two stroke and four stroke. At the end of the day, I appreciate that we finally got a KTM on Farm Sim, but I have to be. As a mod reviewer, I am going to be nitpicky, and I know my motorcycle shit, so. Engine off on the pack stand, so yeah. I will call things out when I see it, but for example, like the downpipes and that. 
I know at the end of the day I am being super nitpicky and yep yeah, I'm not bashing the modeling thing I'm not giving it an unfair criticism but at the end of the day I know my motorcycles and changing these your exhaust downpipes that's not how two stroke and four stroke works but I get the idea behind it Generally, I do. I've ridden many two-stroke and four-stroke motorcycles in my life. I've done scrambling when I was younger, did a bit of enduro, the engines are, but at the end of the day, I appreciate Agritone's work, and even though it's a little nitpicky details, is this a awesome mod at the end of the day? No thought about that, highly recommend it, despite some of the little minor errors in that. But anyway, so that is the end of the mod review. I know it's a bit they come now, overslept today, didn't get up until, what, about, I think, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. So, yeah, I'm very late. I know people's already dropped mod reviews. Well, I do want to upload this. I'm going to get Green River Lands by Carl TG Dunn. Seems like a decent little map. Bit of like a sort of out in the wilderness kind of area, sort of fictional town in the way, farm and forestry. But yeah, I'll do some research on that, get that done, and that'll be up this evening at some point. So yeah, as always, hope you enjoyed this video, find it helpful and informative in some way, shape or form. If so, smash the button, feel free to down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you're nice day. But for now, this will be Farmer Envoy Extreme, and I'll see you all very soon.